In 1868, the British scientist Thomas Huxley attended a party at a friend's house. The guests were served turkey, and Huxley, when he looked at the carcass, commented that there was a similarity with the dinosaur fossils in his laboratory. He then speculated that birds might have evolved from dinosaurs. His companions at the party greeted his comments with laughter and derision. Huxley was a celebrated naturalist and a vocal supporter of Darwin's theory of evolution. He refused to abandon his hypothesis in the face of the derision. On the contrary, he became more and more convinced that birds and dinosaurs were somehow related. Since the 1970s, in many parts of the world, large quantities of dinosaur fossils with bird-like features have been discovered. As a result, scientists began seriously to investigate the possibility that birds really had evolved from dinosaurs. Powerful evidence supporting the hypothesis was provided by some major dinosaur fossil finds made in China in the 1990s. They appeared to be the remains of tiny dinosaurs, some with beautiful wings and even feather-like tails. So, did birds really evolve from dinosaurs? Perhaps the fossils found in China will provide the answers. The Earth has bred countless creatures, many of which are now extinct. One particular species that disappeared long ago still lives on in the popular imagination today, and that is the dinosaur. Dinosaurs lived on Earth between 235 million and 65 million years ago. During much of this time, 150 million years, these reptiles dominated the planet. However, when the Cretaceous period was drawing to its end, some 67 million years ago, the dinosaurs, once the rulers of the planet, suddenly disappeared. Why this happened is a mystery that still puzzles scientists today. Perhaps the answer can be found in the fossils the dinosaurs have left behind. People have been finding dinosaur fossils since time immemorial. However, until recently, they couldn't be studied properly due to a lack of expertise. According to historical records, dinosaur fossils were discovered in Wucheng County, Sichuan Province, 1,700 years ago, at the time of the Jin Dynasty. However, not knowing what they were, people thought they were dragon bones and worshipped them. References to dragon bone can be found in a lot of ancient Chinese literature. In fact, these were almost certainly dinosaur fossils. In 1902, an army officer from Tsarist Russia came to Jiayin County in Heilongjiang province. There, he discovered a large number of dinosaur fossils. This was the first dinosaur fossil find in China to be recorded in detail. In 1922, Chinese geologist Tan Shichao and his colleagues discovered a 17-meter-long dinosaur fossil in Mengyin County, Shandong Province. 
This was the first known example of a Euhalopus fossil. This fossil was taken to Sweden, where it was housed in the exhibition hall at Uppsala University. In 1929, the famous Chinese paleontologist Yang Zhongyan, working in Shunmu County, Shanxi province, discovered the first known fossilized iguanodont footprints, dating from the late Jurassic period, around 150 million years ago. With more dinosaur fossils turning up in China, international scientists began flocking to the country. Working with their Chinese counterparts, they searched for traces of the dinosaurs. At 5 p.m. on March 15, 1995, Chinese scientist Chen Jiangliang made an important announcement that scientists from the School of Life Sciences at Peking University had successfully extracted a DNA sample from a fossilized dinosaur egg unearthed in Xishan County, Henan Province. This was the first DNA sample ever taken from a dinosaur egg anywhere in the world. Within a few decades, the research being done by Chinese scientists was becoming a key element in worldwide dinosaur studies. The wealth of dinosaur fossils discovered in China provided a regular source of evidence for the international research being done. The Institute of Vertebrate Paleontology and Paleoanthropology under the Chinese Academy of Sciences houses the fossils of various dinosaurs discovered in China in the last century. Besides the well-known large dinosaurs, there are some that look like the birds we know today. Their small bodies were covered with bright feathers. They evidently looked quite harmless. Their living habits were similar to those of modern birds, and they were also very active. The word codipteryx has the meaning tail feather. As the name indicates, this small dinosaur had a feathered tail resembling a fan. Its forelegs were also covered with feathers. But most surprisingly is the close resemblance between its feathers and those found on modern birds. The codipteryx had a small head, a long neck, a short tail and two long hind legs. Presumably, it was capable of running very fast. The popular image of a dinosaur is of a gigantic monster. The Codipteryx, though, doesn't fit this description. Furthermore, its features suggest some sort of kinship with the birds. The Codipteryx in the fossil looks like a bird searching for its mate. An examination revealed a small collection of stones in its stomach. Scientists have agreed that these are gastroliths, or stomach stones. Gastroliths are commonly found in the stomachs of modern birds. They serve to grind up the food and so facilitate digestion. So the discovery of the gastroliths in the Codipteryx supports the claim that it's closely related to modern birds. However, some paleontologists insist that the closest relation to the Codipteryx was in fact another ancient creature, the Oviraptor. The Codipteryx is the 
呃，由美国科学家在这个蒙古戈壁发现的。最早发现这个切蛋龙的时候呢，以为这类恐龙是偷蛋吃的，所以给它起名字叫做切蛋龙。但是呢，在这个上个世纪九十年代，在我们国家的内门还有在外门，发现了一些化石，表明这些这些恐龙呢，实际上不是偷蛋的，而是在孵卵，是在孵自己的蛋。这就像现代鸟类一样，有有这种孵卵行为。所以呢，它为鸟类起源于。恐龙又提供了一种从从行为学的角度也提供了一个新的证据。The biological structure of the Codipteryx suggests that it shared similar living habits with the Oviraptor. That they both hatched eggs by lying on them also indicates a strong link with birds nowadays. Paleontologists who've studied the Codipteryx have identified a close relationship between the small pteropod dinosaurs and birds. They've also shown that feathers appeared on dinosaurs much earlier than on birds. The Codipteryx was the first feathered dinosaur discovered anywhere in the world. In 2005, an 80-million-year-old fossil was discovered in a layer of rock in Erlian Basin in Inner Mongolia. It is eight meters long and five meters high. It was given the name Gigantoraptor erlianensis. Despite its huge size, studies have shown that it was a close relative of the Codipteryx. It's also the largest known bird-like dinosaur fossil ever found anywhere in the world. Bird-like dinosaurs were usually small, weighing less than a kilo. Studies have also shown that the size of the dinosaurs was closely related to the evolution of their bird-like features. The smaller the size, the more closely they resembled birds. And yet, this 1,400 kilo dinosaur is classified as a bird-like dinosaur. The Gigantoraptor erlianensis has been exhaustively studied. It was found that, like a bird, it has a huge beak and no teeth. It was also found to have similarities with the Codipteryx. So the experts concluded that it too must have been covered with feathers. The strangely shaped fossil with a strong resemblance to a crowing cock is 70 centimeter long and 50 centimeters wide. This particular fossil is the subject of a rarely told story. On August the 12th, 1996, Jie Cheng, curator of the Geological Museum of China, was working in his office when suddenly the door was flung open. A farmer burst in and laid a heavy case on his desk. The farmer came from Beipiao in Liaoning province. In the case was a fossil that had been discovered in his hometown. The animal in the fossil looked in every way like a bird. Ji Cheng knew instinctively that he had stumbled on a great discovery. Without hesitation, he bought the fossil for the museum. In the course of the next two months, Ji Cheng and his colleagues undertook several expeditions to western Liaoning. They studied other fossils found in the Beipiao area. The fossils gave them an idea of what the area had looked like between 140 and 120 million years ago. The landscape had been richly vegetated with interlinked lakes. There was a rich variety of fauna living there. However, one day, a volcanic eruption had buried the entire area and all the wildlife along with it. In the 
course of tens of millions of years, the creatures were turned into fossils. Experts who studied the animal in the fossil identified the features of a small pteropod dinosaur with a large head and several teeth. It was evidently capable of swift movement, but couldn't fly. They also found something resembling feathers. Although being wedge-shaped, they were different from the feathers on birds we find today. Ji Cheng and his colleagues named the animal Cynoceropteryx. In 1996, they published a paper on it in the academic journal China Geology. Cynoceropteryx had short, thick forelegs and long hind legs. It was evidently a fast runner. As a small predatory dinosaur, it had sharp claws that helped it to hunt. Its fossilized bones revealed many characteristics typical of dinosaurs. So we can safely conclude that this was a dinosaur rather than a bird. The academic world eventually agreed that the Cynoceropteryx lived during the early Cretaceous period, over 130 million years ago. The name Cynoceropteryx, proposed by Ji Cheng, is still what it's known as today. As a feathered dinosaur, it was an intermediary link in the evolutionary chain from dinosaurs to birds. It's also a useful source of information for studying the evolution of birds. After the Cynoceropteryx, many more dinosaur fossil finds were made around Pei Piao in Liaoning province. On New Year's Eve 2001, Dr. Xu Xing and his colleagues from the Institute of Vertebrate Paleontology and Paleoanthropology published a paper in the journal Nature on the latest dinosaur fossil discoveries made in China. The paper introduced the world to the Microraptor Jiao Yinus. The Microraptor Jiaoyanus was a small pteropod dinosaur that lived in the Liaoning area during the Cretaceous period. It was one of the smallest known dinosaurs in the world. The Archaeopteryx is known as the earliest bird on Earth. The oldest Archaeopteryx fossil was found in Germany in 1861. It sparked an academic debate which is still ongoing concerning the relationship between birds and dinosaurs. The Microraptor Jiaoyanus quickly became the focus of this debate. Just like other small pteropod dinosaurs, it could run fast. Moreover, it had well-developed hard-like appendages and feet that were ideally suited to climbing. Evidently, it was capable of climbing trees. That is to say, it could have even lived in trees. If it was small and living in trees, it could represent a significant link in the evolutionary chain from dinosaurs to birds. The discovery of the Microraptor also supports the theory that certain prehistoric dinosaurs might have migrated up into trees and learned to fly. People have always dreamed of flying. Today, we've realized this dream with various aircraft. And yet, there's still something enchanting about the elegance of a bird in flight. In fact, it wasn't only the birds that learned to fly. As early as 65 million years ago, the pterosaurium was able to fly, although its wings didn't have feathers in the modern sense.
The Microraptor jawianus can be regarded as the closest known dinosaur to the birds. It shared some common features with the birds living in trees. But could it actually fly like the birds? In January 2003, the journal Nature carried the image of a previously unseen dinosaur on its cover. It was a Microraptor Gui, named after Gu Ji Wang, a well-known academician and paleontologist. Also involved in the discovery were Xu Xing and his colleagues. The Microraptor Gui measures about 77 centimeters in length. Its claws are sharp and crooked, and its tail is even longer than its body. Its forelegs are short, but the structure of its forelegs and chest bones are well developed. In this sense, it is close to a modern bird. It also has four wings, a feature never before seen in a vertebrate. The Microraptor Gui and Microraptor joeyanus belong to the same species. They further confirmed the hypothesis that the birds evolved from the dinosaurs. More importantly, the discovery of the four-winged dinosaur provided vital evidence for the study of how birds learned to fly. Of key importance was the discovery that the feathers have unsymmetrical blades. The design is believed to influence the flying ability of birds. The features and arrangement of the feathers are also surprisingly similar to those on birds' wings. All this suggests that the Microraptor Gui could have glided on its four wings. Although <laughs> 让我们大吃一惊是大家没有想到的 So it is possible to imagine how the ancestors of the birds learned to fly. They lived in trees from where they regularly glided down to the ground. Finally, after doing this countless numbers of times, they cultivated the ability of flight. But all this took place hundreds of millions of years ago. It's something we can never witness in person. Still, such scientific discoveries as Microraptor Gui provide evidence for further studies on how the birds learned to fly. From Sinoceropteryx to the winged Microraptor Gui, and further to the huge Gigantoraptor Erlionensis, through the discovery of these priceless fossils, we've been able to build an accurate picture of the evolution of life hundreds of millions of years ago. They also show us what the area that is today China witnessed during the prehistoric age and how the prehistoric creatures migrated from the land to the sky. Dinosaurs ruled the earth, but after 170 million years of ascendancy, they suddenly vanished. Why and how? Today, scientists are continuing to
to search for traces of the dinosaurs and to explore their world. In this, vital evidence is being provided by fossils.